Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important integral involving the famous Dirac delta function, right? So here uh, we have to evaluate uh, this integral uh, where we have uh, the integral from minus 9 to 9 uh, dx and uh, we have x cube plus 4 and then we have the second derivative uh, that is d2 over dx2 of the Dirac delta function which is uh, delta of x minus uh, 5, right? So in this lecture we'll see how by uh, making use of the properties of uh, Dirac delta function, uh, we can evaluate uh, this integral, right? So let us start and let us first see the uh, property uh, which is going to be used uh, to evaluate this integral. So let us first call this integral as i, right? And let us uh, first, uh, uh, rearrange the terms uh, for the uh, convenience so we have minus 9 to 9 and here we have x cube plus 4 and then uh, we can write uh, d2 over dx2 of the Dirac delta function that that is delta of x minus 5 and here we can write dx right now see here we have the second derivative so the order of the derivative is 2. So we can again uh, rewrite this integral as x cube plus 4. And here we can write delta of double prime. And here we have x minus uh, 5. Right. So now uh, we have the simplified form of uh, this given integral. Now uh, let us denote this function. Uh, by f of x so we can write f of x is equal to x cube plus 4 right so now uh, the integral it looks like uh, this that is here we have f of x and here we have uh, delta double prime and here we have x minus 5 dx right so now uh, let us uh, state the property uh, which is going to be used here uh, to get the value of uh, the Dirac delta uh, function integral. So the property is uh, we have the integral from minus infinity to, to infinity and here we have the function f of x which is uh, associated with the Dirac delta function and here we have the uh, nth order derivative of uh, the direct delta function and we have x minus a dx right so the value of uh, this uh, integral uh, is equal to uh, minus 1 raised to n and here we have the derivative of this function that is the nth derivative of this function f of x uh, which is associated with uh, this Dirac delta function and uh, will calculate the value of this function or the nth derivative of f of x at x is equal to uh, a, right? So this is the property uh, which is going to be used here, right? Now if we compare this integral with this one, uh, then see here we have minus infinity and here we have infinity, right? So we can also uh, restate this property as say uh, b to c and uh, here we have say f of x and here we have the nth derivative of uh, Dirac delta function and we have here dx. So we can now write minus 1 raised to n and the nth derivative of f of x and here we have to evaluate uh, this function that is nth derivative of f of x at x is equal to a where this a it lies between uh, b and c right so if here we have b and here we have c then this point uh, must lie between uh, b and c right so now let us compare this integral with this one right so f of x is 
uh, x cube plus 4 and this n this n is the order of the derivative so n must be 2 because here we have double prime it implies that the uh, second derivative is involved and x minus a so here we have x minus 5 so our a is 5 right so now uh, this integral is uh, comparable with this one and the limits of integration are from minus 9 to 9 so here we have b equal to uh, minus 9 and c is equal to 9 right and our this point that is a this point lies between minus 9 and 9 right so now uh, let us come to the uh, right hand side so here we have minus 1 raised to n so the value of this integral can now be written as uh, minus 1 raised to n right so this integral is now similar to this one so now we come to the right hand side so minus 1 raised to n n is 2 second order derivative and here we have f and here we have double prime because n is 2 so double derivative is involved here second order derivative and here we have x and uh, this function uh, should be evaluated at x is equal to a and a is our 5 right so we have x is equal to 5 so now uh, it implies that uh, we have to find the second derivative of this function right so f of x is x cube plus 4 so the first derivative is uh, 3x square and the derivative of 4 is 0 being a constant and the second derivative is now uh, 2 3 is a 6 so we can write it as 3 times 2x so the derivative of x square is 2x right so here we have used this result that is uh, derivative of x raised to n is n x n minus 1 right so we have 6x so the second derivative is 6x so now we have minus 1 raised to 2 is positive 1 and here we have 6x and this 6x uh, should be evaluated at x is equal to 5 so we have here uh, 6 times 5 substituting x is equal to 5 here so we have got uh, 30 right so the value of this integral is equal to uh, 30 now let us consider a second problem right so here we have to find out the value of this integral uh, that is from minus infinity to infinity dx e raised to 2x and here we have uh, d by dx of uh, uh, the direct delta function delta x right so let us call this integral as i right and now uh, let us first rearrange the terms and we can now write this integral as minus infinity to infinity let us first write e raised to 2x here then we have d by dx of delta x which can be written as delta prime of x right so this prime notation shows uh, the first derivative right and here we have dx so now uh, this integral uh, can be written like this right so we can also write this integral as minus infinity to infinity here we have e raised to 2x and then we can write uh, delta prime of x minus 0 right so x can be written as x minus 0 because we are going to apply uh, this property right and we can easily see that here b is minus infinity c is uh, infinity and uh, this point which is a and a is equal to 0 and this 0 obviously lies between minus infinity and infinity right so now uh, here we have the first derivative so the value of n must be equal to 1 right because n denotes the order of the derivative so n is 1 so now uh, f of x is uh, this function is uh, the exponential function e raised to 2x right so now uh, let us come to this side 
so this integral can now be written with the help of this integral uh, minus 1 uh, raised to n so n is 1 because first derivative uh, is involved here and then uh, we have the first derivative that is f prime of x and this derivative is to be evaluated at this point that is a is equal to 0 right so now minus 1 raised to 1 is minus 1 so this is minus of f prime of x and we have to evaluate it at a is equal to 0 right now f of x is e raised to 2x so here we need to find out the first derivative of fx so f prime of x is the derivative of e raised to 2x and we know that the derivative of exponential function is the exponential function itself so e raised to 2x and then by chain rule the derivative of 2x is simply 2 because the derivative of x is 1 right so this is 2 times e raised to 2x so here we can now write minus e raised 2 times e raised to 2x and this function is to be evaluated at this point a is equal to 0 right so now we have minus 2 and e raised to 2 times 0 so this is minus 2 e raised to 0 and e raised to 0 is 1 so we have minus 2 times 1 that is minus 2 right so the value of this integral is equal to a minus 2 right so viewers this is how uh, we can solve uh, the integrals involving the derivative of Dirac delta function.